What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another YouTube video. I am Giovanni Bernes and today we're going to be comparing some trimmers. Alright guys, so on the right side, I have my Andis GTX Evos, yeah, I have these equipped with the 245 charging adapter, so it's nothing different, you know, just put it on your mat, charges, and then this one, I just have it with a little, the little hanger on there, but let's get into it, starting off with this one, with the FX3 trimmer, so I'm gonna start off first with build quality so this one the build is kind of not as premium as as their past trimmer the skeleton because this is all metal this one is just plastic plastic body uh, i mean it does feel good but at the same time it doesn't feel premium you know so it, it feels like a whatever trimmer but i do like the ergonomics it does kind of sit good in the hand it's not just like a straight, it's a little bit angled right here. So if you're gonna be using it for a lineup, you, you could easily maneuver it to the way you like it. And then also the blade, it's a pretty good sized blade. So it's not as the same as uh, their past blade. It's a little bit longer, but it still cuts good. And then the button, So as you guys can see, the button is a little bit, has a little groove on there. Just so it could be easier for you to turn on and turn off. <laughs> but yeah guys, and then this, the labeling on there, it's very, very small. So, it's not like the other clippers where you could see it very big. It's their Babless Pro, and right here, FX3. But, I mean, it's still, it's still Babless, so it's a nice motor. But yeah, guys, I really do like the build. It has this little groove finish back here. You guys could tell right there. So it feels good when grabbing it. The next opponent, this one, the Andis. So it's Andis, you already know. The build is better, I'd say. It's also plastic, but I feel like this plastic is a little bit harder and a little bit better just because it's like a matte finish. And I feel like it's tougher, honestly, than the other one. Uh, I like how they branded it right here. focus and this it's on the plastic it's branded on there so it won't smudge off or it won't scrape off with use and then everyone always wanted the skeleton so here it is they get they finally gave it to us so the hairs won't fall in here so that's a good thing about it uh, what else the switch I'd say Sometimes you have to fight for it, the switch, whenever you first get the, the trimmer. So like... So it's a little bit hard compared to other people's trimmers or other trimmers out on the market. But once you get the hang of it, it's, it's good. And 
Man, sometimes they'll get stuck in the middle. Or somewhere in the middle. Right here. You can still push it. But, I mean, a lot of people say, oh, they have problems with this. I haven't. They're real sharp hitters out the box. So, that's my opinion on that. And then, just the ergonomics of it. I feel, I like how wide it is. From side to side. So it's like a nice feel to it. So it's not too skinny. And then you could just put, it's just flat back here. So you could just lay your thumb on there like that. And then keep this one, keep the index finger on there like that. And boom. So that's the nice thing about having this kind of skeletonized. You could kind of see a little bit if you're going like that a little bit better. So. All right. So now battery size or charge time. So. Starting off with the FX3, these bad boys apparently they're they're shooting for four hours of non-stop. So I'd say I've tried running them till they die, but sometimes I'll have issues with the battery. So or like the indicator at least. So it'll show it's at this, but then I'll turn it off and or I'll use it for a while, still running like this, and then it'll go to one. And then I turn it off and then I turn it back on and it's full. It does run you for a good amount of time. So I'm pretty sure it's four hours, but sometimes, you know, trimmers, they mess up. Pretty sure that I got a faulty one, but it's all good, you know, as long as it works. But this one it has apparently four hours. And comparing to the GTX Evils, these only have 100 minutes. So that's an hour and 40 minutes. So... But I mean, trimmers, you're not running them like clippers, you know, so you're not always having them turned on, but that still matters, you know. So you could go off a couple days with the FX3s without charge, but then if you didn't have the 245 power adapter, you'd have to go charging it like every two days, basically. The FX3 is, well, almost three times as better than the GTX in charge, in charge. So now the best question that I am always asked is how do they hit? So I have these little videos uh, pre-recorded. So I will put them up right here, either before this or after this. And just showcasing how these hit. In my opinion, these, just by touching it like this, rubbing your thumb or your finger against it, it's a little bit harsh, like a little bit uh, sharp. But the blades themselves, out the box they're really sharp like they're really zero gap so i had to gap i had to adjust them a little bit less honestly because they were too sharp so i was finding myself uh, nicking clients with them because they're that's how sharp they were and that's how adjusted they were so i had to adjust these but they were sharp uh sometimes when debulking they'll snag a hair follicle and pull uh these i've got a couple of people that have done that too so I don't like debulking with these too much, but um, sometimes going down with it, it's a lot better. Uh, lineups, crispy, but the GTX, guys. Yeah, these are hitters for lineups. With the crunch that they make, makes you, ooh, makes you feel like you're already done with it. So I like the crunch of it uh debulking perfect but i don't use them for debulking so i just keep them for lineups because they hit uh lineups guidelines they they put it in sharp so even whenever i need to take out a harsh guideline that i put in with my shaver i'll i'll bring these to flick at it so these are real sharp and when feeling it against it it's not as bad as the fx3s all right guys and then the last thing that I will say is packaging and pricing. So here are the two packages right here. Just so you can see the little reflective on the FX3 and then the plane on the Andes. So the Andes is a real good size box, look at that. So it feels like a good trimmer. And then the FX3s, they're a wide box so it feels like both of them are real nice so this one it comes with all the little details in the back comes with the charger the the little stuff for it and then same thing with this one but this one comes with a charging set but i don't use it because i have a 245 
power adapter and the mat and then this one actually comes with guards apparently uh, I didn't see them uh, and then the blade guard that's very important it comes with it so if like if, if you're like me you're traveling going to school taking your clippers you want to make sure those are secured so I'm very glad that Andis threw in one of those but Babliss they did not so I'm not too sure but the GTX's when they first came out and I got them they were 250 USA yeah 250 a lot of people are complaining about that Andis why are you doing that to us this and that the name you're paying for that Andis Right now, the MSRP goes down real good. So right now, you can find them after, what, almost a year of being out. You can find them for 180, 160, 170. So you just gotta look for them. Don't, don't be a fool and get them off of uh, Andis. Pay those 250, yeah, again, you know. Then the FX3s, I believe 150 when they came out and they're still around that price. Uh, so they're decent, you know, but the fx3s they run uh 1700 rpms so but i feel like there is something in that because of the noise so they sound they don't sound pretty <laughs> but yeah guys if you guys do get the chance to try out the fx3s i would recommend it so just try them out and then you know you could either say oh i don't like them or oh oh he lied to me no i don't want to lie to you guys uh, I'll often find myself using these a lot more for lineups than these but at the same time these have good charge so <laughs> um, noise test so here here a little bit before I leave I'll, I'll show you guys noise and this GTX Alright guys, that's it for the video, but I want to give a nice little thank you for the idea of this video. Joseph from Clipper Crafters, he requested it, so I had to make it for my boy. Uh, I'm going to make a, a video on reviewing those custom clippers you made me. So I didn't forget about you. So soon, I'm going I'm to drop them, but here's, here's a look of them. At these beautiful babies, these Frankenstein's, beautiful Frankenstein's, they have a lot. Of power. <laughs> so until next time guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah guys, I'm outie.